I was walking around for two days thinking that I was Picasso when really I was I was I was more like a jackass and uh so I went into this store out of Long Island uh Michaels and I we had spent a couple hundred dollars on supplies I was, I was serious about it I bought a large canvas and brushes and paints and paint cleaner and spray paint and markers that's about the markers. So I went to the bookstore and then I bought a few $50 books of Best Granada and Pop Art. And I was really like reading all this and researching and actually was beginning to feel like this was a calling. So I, I, I set up shop in my backyard and was right up against this big beautiful tree and I, I tore up the paint and then I squeezed out the red and the yellow on the palette and then I, I dipped my brush in the palette and I look up and, and, the, and the canvas and it hit me. I, I had to ask myself as I stared at this large white canvas, what the fuck am I doing? I was, it was like a spell had just like been broken. I, I mean I felt silly and I, I started looking around, and then in, into my neighbor's windows, uh, houses, because uh, I felt like I was I was being watched. And uh, sure enough, there was this little girl named Megan. She was peering at me from the second floor story bedroom window. Uh, she had this like this look of disgust, like written all over her face. So it was kind of I don't know. Um, not feeling inadequate in, in front of a child, I decided to prove to her that I could paint. So it's not like I needed the approval of a child. Just, just don't ask me why. I, I uh, maybe I'm just crazy, but I did, and uh, I want I wanted this child to say, "Good, good job, Joe. You're a fucking Picasso, all right." <laughs>